And before we get a look at uh, some satellite pictures and some information for you, just a quick reminder regarding information. Anytime, you can always tap into the Weather Channel on CompuServe. Uh, you just go TWC form on CompuServe, uh, get in there and ask some questions to your heart's content regarding tropical weather or any kind of weather systems you want to know about. Uh, speaking of weather systems, a lot of, a lot of uh, questions as far as Hurricane Felix, especially as uh, towards the track. Uh, we do know that uh, Sunday, as we get into tomorrow, an area of high pressure will be sitting over the mid-south in the upper level wind pattern, a bit of a drop to the south here, kind of a trough of lower pressure, and you'll see that in a moment when we look at some uh, satellite pictures. Here's your generalized forecast position for Sunday. A big question is, will the upper trough pull the storm to the north? Well, we just don't know because especially with tropical weather systems, there is uh, a myriad of things that could happen as far as the eventual track of the hurricane. And since it is already such a strong hurricane and forecast to become even stronger, it is a major question, which at some point in time will be answered. Let's go ahead and show you the information regarding Hurricane Felix. 620 miles south, southeast of Bermuda. That was uh, as of about 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. At that time, it was centered near 24 north, 61 west. Sustained winds at 125 miles per hour. So if we have maximum sustained winds at that level, we most likely have some gusts uh, getting up to about 140 miles per hour. Northwest wind, or excuse me, northwest motion at 16 miles per hour. And look at the pressure, estimated minimum pressure, 932 millibars. That's 27.52 inches of mercury. That's a tremendous drop in the pressure since yesterday at this time. Officially, a hurricane watch has been posted for the island of Bermuda. There's the bird's eye view. You can see that well-defined eye associated with this strong hurricane. And by the way, on the Saffir Simpson scale, this is a category three hurricane, category four, once uh, we get up to about 131 miles per hour. So it certainly could become a category four hurricane as we go ahead in time. Uh, you notice that very classic banding of the cloud field around the hurricane and as it continues to move to the northwest you can see a little bit of a wobble there with the eye but uh, certainly a system to be reckoned with due to its strength and the forecast for additional strength now here is uh, this interesting pattern northwest of the hurricane we have this weak upper trough which actually goes from the north atlantic and heads all the way down into florida there's a weak convergence zone or a line of uh, air coming together here across Florida. That'll generate some storms today, but it's the presence of this system actually, which as we go ahead in time is uh, going to push this thing a little bit farther to the north. Now, beyond that point, uh, there's a question as to whether or not this system could weaken enough so that uh, the hurricane then could change a little bit of a course. Don't know at this time. So we're really keying in on this upper disturbance here northwest of the hurricane. But for now, at least in the short term, over the next 12 hours, it'll continue to push on to the northwest, and most likely, uh, there's really no reason to not expect it to gain additional strength. Certainly something that bears close scrutiny. Out here in the eastern... ...on the clock, EDT, it was 130 miles per hour at that time. Uh, for a short time, there was a miscalculation. Winds were thought to be 135 miles per hour. So if you tuned in a couple hours ago and saw that, well, that's why it's uh, 130 right now. Still a very powerful system. What's five miles per hour when it's this strong? 475 miles south, southeast of Bermuda. That's that little dot right there. And that would be the main concern right now. U.S. United States not concerned right now with the system. Even Bermuda, it's probably at least... 30 hours away and maybe longer than that, 24 to 48 hours before any effects are felt. And there's the movement northwest right now at 13, expected to continue to move northwest at 13, basically in that direction the next 24 hours. And that is... We want to remind you, uh, heavy surf is a likely associated with Hurricane Felix. We're already seeing uh, heavy surf, uh, dangerous rip currents, already three fatalities in parts of the uh, Virginia and also into North Carolina when these strong undertows and, and rip currents are very dangerous, something you definitely want to take very seriously. Let's check out the latest on uh, what's going on with Felix. And here we go, 31.3 north, 65 west. It was as of 5 o'clock. 
Uh, that puts the center 75 miles south-southwest of Bermuda. Maximum sustained winds now 85 miles per hour, and it's now moving to the west-northwest at 14 miles per hour, as opposed to a, a more northerly track yesterday, now moving uh, towards the west-northwest. As we uh, look at uh, what's going on, so as we check out exactly where Felix is, you can see, of course, here's the east coast, and we're still seeing, of course, the convection and a pretty uh, organized uh, storm here. Although uh, we're not seeing as much orange on the satellite map, that just indicates that the clouds aren't as high, but it's still a pretty potent uh, hurricane here. And certainly all interest on the East Coast will want to stay tuned to the Weather Channel. Um, there is the potential uh, that maybe tomorrow or sometime between now and tomorrow that a hurricane watch could be issued for parts of the East Coast. So we'll continue to keep you updated here at the Weather Channel, so be sure and stay tuned. A closer view again shows us this is a, a very large uh, hurricane. And again, the effects already being felt across parts of the East Coast with uh, large swells, uh, heavy surf, um, with, of course, with the rip currents, the rip tides, and the undertow. It's a very dangerous situation. So although uh, the uh, storm itself is still out in the uh, ocean, the effects are already being felt in uh, the East Coast of the United States. So certainly something we want to take very seriously. A hurricane warning in effect for Bermuda earlier today, wind gust. Uh, up to a 74 miles per hour, 75 miles per hour, so they're really getting pounded in uh, parts of Bermuda. Now as we look at where our heavy surf advisories are in effect, you can see the area shaded here in orange from Sebastian Inlet all the way up to uh, Sandy Hook again. Uh, this is something we definitely want you to take very seriously, all interest on the east coast. Uh, already feeling the effects, of course, uh, on the east coast with the, uh, with the high swells and the uh, a heavy surf advisories in effect. Also, a coastal flooding warning in effect from Virginia Beach to Cape Lookout. This area shaded here in red. Uh, so a very uh, uh, situation we certainly uh, want to continue to monitor over the next day or two. As we check out our upper level winds, here's what's going on. We can see an area of disturbed weather here in the Gulf, uh, in the Bay of Campeche rather. Also, here's the Felix. You can see the uh, swirling clouds here with the uh, clouds uh, well down uh, to the South, and then as this area coming off the west coast of Africa looks uh, somewhat favorable for development if anything were to ...walking winds of 80 miles per hour and it's churning off towards the west northwest. Right now it's roughly centered some 460 miles east southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. It's still rather uncertain as to the exact track that Hurricane Felix may be taking, but if it continues in the same general course, it might be making a beeline over towards North Carolina. So that's certainly something that we certainly have to watch out for for the next 24 to 48 hours or so. At this point, tropical storm warnings continue throughout the island of Bermuda. But as it does pull away from Bermuda, things are really starting to look quite active now throughout the East Coast. And here we have hurricane watches and warnings in effect. Hurricane warnings have gone up from Chincoteague in Virginia, running southward toward Little River Inlet in North Carolina. Now, within this warning area, that does mean that hurricane conditions, hurricane force winds could be quite possibly felt here within the next 24 hours. And as a result, those hurricane warnings have gone up. Just north and south of these areas, though, hurricane watches have been posted. Now, this time, too, we're seeing some big waves, some big seas and big swells crashing along the east coast. So there's that problem today with some beach erosion and coastal flooding, especially during times of high tide. And coastal flood warnings have been posted also throughout portions of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Big seas mean some very dangerous conditions for boating and for fishing and swimming throughout this region. Dangerous rip currents are a possibility throughout most of the eastern seaboard, and heavy surf advisories remain posted. And bisecting the nation's heartland, setting off from showers and storms. They'll be dying down somewhat by later on tonight, only to refire by tomorrow. Also, we start to see Hurricane Felix drawing very close to the outer banks of North Carolina. At least right now, that's the greatest strike probability somewhere in North Carolina. But it's still rather unclear as to exactly where Hurricane Felix might be moving on.